Welcome to Land Academy. This is the Cash Flow from Land Show, where we show you how to buy unwanted vacant land and sell it for more on the internet. I'm Steve Butella. I'm Jill DeWitt. We, we are, are your hosts. hosts. With over 15,000 completed transactions, we are the experts in this niche land flipping business. We hold a drawing to win a free property every month. Enter to win by reviewing this show on iTunes and downloading our free ebook at landacademy.com. All right, let's get this show started. Jack and Jill here for the Cash Flow from Land show. Today we have with us Joe McCall. Joe has flipped several hundred deals and helped students flip hundreds more. He loves doing deals and coaching students to do the same. He has been fortunate to receive more student testimonials than he can count. Joe invests remotely in multiple markets. He loves creating automated marketing systems. I have a lot of questions about that. Thank you, Joe. We're glad you're with us today. Thank you, Jill. And Steve, are you there? I am. I'm here. All right. Nice. I love automated marketing systems, too. <laughs> I know, man. I couldn't you know, do what I do without it. You know, when people click on the thing and they check out and then there's money, that's the kind of automated system I like. <laughs> yes, that's true. What the... Uh, so there's different kinds of businesses in real estate. And when you're wholesaling houses, that's one of the hardest things to automate, I think, because you're dealing with people. And uh, every house is different. And you've got buyers, you've got sellers, you've got lenders, you have title companies and wholesalers that you're dealing with. Um, so I've found, you know, I've been fortunate enough to to find a way to automate all that stuff. Well, share it with us. That'd be, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> well, <laughs> It, it involves using people. I mean, you can't get out, you can't get away from people. Um, and so, but bottom line, I'll just tell you my story real quick and I'll try to be fast. By the way, I'm, I'm honored to be on your show, guys. I've listened Thank to a ton you. of your podcast and uh, you're one of my favorite podcasts. In fact, <laughs> my favorite podcast app is called Pocket Casts and you're always at the top because when I open up my, my app, you're always at the top because you come out with new episodes all the time. Oh, Nice. Which is really smart. You, that, you, you know, people, people don't forget. They can't forget you because you're always at the top of their feed. Wait, isn't it because of it's me that they don't forget us? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, Jill, you are the star of the show. Exactly. I mean. Thank you. <laughs> Jill's the lead singer, and I'm the I'm the guitarist in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Anyway, I I started out. Um, I, I, I bought a bunch of courses and signed up for coaching. I was one of those seminar junkies and I'd buy everything and go to every webinar and boot camp and um, spending a ton of money on education and not making anything. And so finally my back was against the wall. I had bought a bunch of houses when it was easy. Um, the market crashed. I went with it and I had a serious cash flow problem. So I started uh, wholesaling, just wholesaling houses regularly. But I was getting real frustrated with um, throwing away so much money after dead marketing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I realized early on though, the importance of marketing, like we're not in the real estate business. We're not in the land business. We're in the marketing business, plain and simple. No matter what kind of deals you're doing, you're in the marketing business. That's, that's who you are. If you want to have success in this business, you've got to be an expert at marketing and lead generation, mm -hmm. which you guys are. I mean, your, your letters work like crazy. Um, Almost, they work too well because <laughs> we're getting <laughs> overwhelmed uh, with with leads right now and deals. Okay, so anyway, um, I realized early on the importance of marketing. And so I started doing tons of postcards and I realized if I don't get somebody else to do it for me, it's just not going to get done. So I started creating systems to get marketing done, what I call for you in spite of you. And so right about 2008, 2009, I started wholesaling lease options because I got tired of throwing away tons of leads that didn't have any equity. So I started tying them up as a lease option and then flipping the lease option to a tenant buyer. And I did that in 2009 and doing that replaced my, I was doing that part-time and that replaced my income at my full-time job. And that's when I quit. I was a civil engineer working for a big electrical contractor building power plants. And so I, uh, I quit my job in 2009 when the economy was at its worst. It was free falling and I've never looked back since. It's been awesome. So re and, and back then I created like what I wanted to have like as a, as a vision for my life. And I didn't want to be tied behind a desk. I wanted the freedom to travel. I wanted to, we wanted to homeschool our kids. We have four kids. We wanted to get an RV and just go whenever we wanted anywhere we wanted. 
Um, so fast forward till about 2013, um, we took our, our whole family, my wife, our four kids, to Prague. We went to Prague in the Czech Republic for th- almost three months, and we traveled around Europe a little bit while we were there. And while I was there, I was able to do deals in the United States. And I thought, this is pretty cool. This is awesome. And I started getting these systems in place to automate my business for me. Came back a year later, we took a three-month RV trip uh, through the northwestern quarter of the U.S. and saw a ton of different national parks, and it was really amazing. And it was right around this time that I started – I got – I still was talking to sellers. I was still the one talking to buyers, right, even though I was doing it virtually from my RV. So I decided I need to figure out a way that I can get – I listed everything I've got to do, and I just asked myself a simple question. How can I do none of this? And – that asking the right questions kind of got me on this journey to automating my marketing and automating my systems. Um, I discovered Podio, which I fell in love with. Podio allows me to run all my different businesses on one platform in the project management, the collaboration, the CRM, it's all kind of there together. And so uh, what I'd started doing is I partnered with local wholesalers local boots on the grounds people. So now the way I run my business, my wholesaling business and deals is for the, my land deals are kind of the same now too. But for my wholesaling business, I have my assistant that sends out the marketing. We send out a lot of yellow letters and postcards for the houses for land. We only send blind offers just like you teach. Great. Uh, So, but for houses, I've tried sending blind offers for houses and it does not work. (laughs) Really? Oh, I had a real hard time, and maybe I didn't give it a good enough shot, um, but I didn't. We, yeah, it didn't work that well. We do it all the time. It works. Works. Maybe well. I need to revisit it. It's just kind of maybe some limiting beliefs, but I'll I'll tell you what I'm doing now. Um, so I send out uh, yellow letters and postcards. I know you love yellow letters, Steve, but I send them <laughs> out anyway. I send them out anyway, and so. The phone rings. My VA in the Philippines has really good English. She answers the phone and pre-screens all the leads. And she just asks three or four basic questions, puts them in Podio, and we do this in several different markets, and then sends the lead in Podio to my local wholesaler. Okay, My local wholesaler, my boots on the ground guy, is a guy that already does a bunch of deals. He just doesn't like the admin stuff. He doesn't like doing the marketing. He doesn't like pre-screening a ton of leads. But he'll take the pre-screened leads, call the sellers back, Go look at the house if it's a motivated deal seller. Get it under contract and flip it to one of their buyers, and we split the profits 50-50. And that's how I'm doing all my deals right now. That's amazing. So that's your system. You still got people involved. I got system assistant doing the marketing, an assistant pre-screening the leads, and a local wholesaler flipping them. I'm just kind of in the background orchestrating it, and that allows me to travel. We went to Europe again last summer for three months and we traveled a ton. We went to France and we went to like eight different, nine different countries um, and had a really, really good time. And that's what, that's what I do now. I work from home and um, I, uh, I do my podcast. And so that was a long introduction. I hope that was. No, it's great. Question. It's great. So, I mean, how, from a dollar standpoint, what do you, you personally net per deal with really not being involved at all? I just did a deal. I could send it to you. I made $5,670 on a deal we closed on last Friday, uh, $5,670. And so that's on average, you're looking at um, three to six grand. So four grand, let's say, mm-hmm. an average deal. And uh, we'll average three to four deals a month. You know, I, I'm not a big volume guy, I don't want to have a big business. I keep it real simple. I have a couple local assistants in an office that I don't even go to hardly. I should. I should go there more. But And then I have some virtual assistants. Uh, but I also do a coaching business, right? So, you know, I, I it's not just the deals business where I get most of my income. Probably, if I were to be honest, um, 25, 35% of my income comes from deals. And 65, 75% comes from my podcast, my marketing services, um, and my coaching. That's great. Yeah. I mean, $10,000 gross. I mean, we make about $10,000 per house, wholesale house deal too. Yeah. And we don't, you know, I do take the couple of phone calls on that. And, but we only deal with the people that we sell it to are people that we've known for years and years and years. So we were just, I just got up another ca- call where we were talking about, Jill and I were talking about really stepping that business up because 
all we have to do is send out twice as much letters, which just takes, you know, 10 more minutes a, a month. Yeah. And then, well, uh, you know, that's, that's who wins in this business. Whoever does the most marketing wins. It's yeah, as simple exactly. as that. Exactly. So what's next? What are you going to work on next? It's great stuff. Well, I, I love the land business. Um, and so I, I caught the land bug about four, three, four months ago. And uh, people ask me all the time, because I have, I have a course on lease options and another course on wholesaling. People ask me, should I buy your course or that course? And I, I always say, buy all of them, because everybody has a different perspective, you know, and mm -hmm. you're going to learn something from everybody when you do that. And, and I, I'm a big believer in investing in your education. So I bought four courses on land. And I was telling you this before we started. Um, to be politically correct, I have uh -huh. to say that I like all of them, but yours is one of the best. How's that? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, cause I'm good friends with the other guys. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so I, I took these courses, I went through them and then I gave them to my assistant, my, one of my main assistants. And I have another, um, couple that I work with that kind of like we're partners in the land business. And I just said, here it is, go through this and let's start implementing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, this is, I, and I was really emphatic with this, with them. And I think this is important for everybody listening. Um, don't start worrying about steps seven and eight before you start doing steps one and two. Like there's a lot of stuff in the land Academy course, but don't worry about those last chapters. Just start getting the letters out and you'll figure it out as you go. And so we took massive action. We just started sending tons of offers. Um, we, we got an offer. I won't go into all the details, but, um, we started getting some offers accepted and we realized we were offering too much. Huh. So, yeah. uh, okay, well, sorry. You know. <laughs> and then, so we started, um, we lowered our price and then, um, so we we're, we're kind of just trial and error. You figure out, okay, well that wasn't working. Let's, let's change it a little bit. And now it's, now it's starting to hum along pretty well. Yeah. So I got to ask Joe, did, did our program, cause I've heard this, um, because we're, as you know, a little bit different in what we do. You know, yeah. we're not all philosophy. We're really more of, let's, let's, we're really going to show you how to do this. Oh, and by the way, here's the data. We're going to, not only are we going to show you how to do it, we're going to give you all the tools to do it. Yeah. So is, I, I'm hoping the answer is yes. Did we, would, did we fill in all the holes and finally give you everything you needed to kind of just really do this and jump in? Yes, you sure Thank did. You. <laughs> Thank now, you. Now, if, if I... If I could give one piece of good constructive criticism, yeah, if that's okay on a podcast, Absolutely. I'm, I'm not sound like we a can bleep it out if we don't like it. It's all good. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I I love. There's a thing called on my Mac. It's called uh, My Speed, and I speed through videos. I just wish your videos were a little shorter, like more condensed. Oh. Like if you could have maybe a fast start guide. Like oh. just do a, do a two hour webinar or video of like real quick, a deal from beginning to end that somebody can just watch from the beginning and get, Oh, that's what this is all about. Does um, that make sense? Yes. My, um, my question though, I was thinking too, I wonder how much of that is you. I think it, yeah. So I'm a little impatient. Well, no, no, I wasn't <laughs> going to say that. I was going to say how much of it is you already, you this is not new to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good point. Because so, if you um, go too fast, then you might overwhelm people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in the process of actually filming um, a, a new program uh, for house flippers and one for um, people who are trying to buy, a, let's say, buy a, a new house or move, or move. just regular yes. homeowners who want to find a house that's substantially marked down. Yeah. And uh, that's the number one thing on my list is to make the packages much shorter. So, uh you know, and I think they actually we, we covered a ton in that original cash flow from the land program, um, which is phenomenal. But I, I don't mean to say anything. No, negative. it's good. I have I fast forward through YouTube videos all the time. I have no patience <laughs> yeah. at all. Yeah. He's always telling me, can you can you do this? Can you get this out quicker? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I that is hard because I love to teach. Right. And mm -hmm. sometimes when I'm teaching, I go into way too much detail and it's hard to figure out that fine balance of just telling students what they need to know um, to get them to the to the end goal as quick as possible. And it's that's tough. It's I mean, people don't realize, Steve, they they see your course. You guys put so much 
blood, sweat, and tears and effort into that course. Am I right? Yes. Oh. <laughs> it, it took uh, it took a year. It took a year to do that. That I mean, it's it's amazing the amount of work that goes into creating a course. And why on earth would you want to do that? It's just easier in so many ways to just continue doing deals yourself. Mm-hmm. And you know. So my point is this. I thank God for gurus. I know I know gurus get bashed, and I talk about this on my podcast sometimes, and it's unfortunate because if it wasn't for that guru that I bought that late-night infomercial course way back, you know, who was willing to you know stick his neck on the line and teach people what he knew, uh, who cares if he's not doing deals now? He did a bunch of deals then, and he's a really good teacher, and he's teaching this stuff now. Who cares if he makes more money teaching than he does doing deals? His stuff is good. So I bought those courses and I learned from them and I started implementing that stuff and doing deals. So I don't like jumping on the bandwagon of bashing gurus. Um, I, I'm, I'm okay with bashing stupid gurus that are stupid, <laughs> are idiots. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, you, with Steve and Jill, you guys put so much work into um, that course. It, it, it's, it's a great quality course. And uh, if I were to... Well, I can't say that because I need to be politically correct. It's, <laughs> it's definitely your course, your Land Academy uh, course is definitely the must have uh, of, of all of the uh, material that's out there with, with courses. It's super nice for you, of you to say, Joe. I really appreciate it. We get the vast majority, not the majority, let's say 60, 50 or 60 percent of the, the members that we have at Land Academy have come from us from um, our two or three, I'm going to say like kind uh, information sources. Yeah. You know, the thing, the thing that's real different and quite honestly, I'm a little bit more proud of even than the packages, um, the data and the printing, uh, subscription slash uh, membership that we provide through real, real quest, but that's where the real value, like, you know, like Joe said, it's now we've got the education and we also provide the professional grade tools to, to get deals done. So, yeah, we use the, um, Data to doorstep, is that what it's called? Yes, mm-hmm. data to doorstep, yep. Yeah, we, we use that. It's good stuff. That's great. Have you had a positive experience with that? Because everybody seems to just love it. Well, we just still do our own mail, right? So I have a local printing house that mm-hmm. we use for our mail, uh, but we use it for the data with uh-huh. RealQuest Professional. And, yeah, it's cool. I'm, I'm kind of a data nerd as well, and you can't get that list anywhere else. You exactly. can't get that data anywhere else for cheaper um, you know, even with list source, you can't get that stuff like and I don't know if this is intentional or just the way it's just an accident. But like if you go to list source and try to buy a list for land, you cannot do an improved value of zero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, the difference between us, this is kind of, it's kind of almost sounded like a commercial and it wasn't intended for this. <laughs> but the difference between real quests and everything else is that you're literally accessing an assessor's database. So you have yeah. all, you know, there's lines and lines of data that you don't get. You know, I say it all the time. You should never buy a list. You know, it doesn't it really you're, what you're buying if you buy it on the, on the Internet is an ownership list. That's it. Without us, without the assessed values and a bunch of other things, you really can't send out effective letters. And what ends up happening is you waste money on postage. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Good resource. Good resource. Thank you. So what, what are, what are your, um, the people that you coached, are, do they do everything? Are they doing mostly house flipping or yeah so i i just no i don't i don't teach or coach on land i don't plan on to either um but it's i i got into land because i wanted to build passive income without Mm -hmm. owning a rental property without owning a house and so um right now we're we are well i don't know i'd say we got we have Th- th- three and two, we have about five properties under contract and we're right now in the middle of um, advertising and selling them. The first one or two that we put up are in, uh, in Colorado and we're getting already within a week, a bunch of calls on them. Um, so that's going well, but right now we're just focusing on wholesaling them, like flipping them for quick cash. And then we'll start selling them on terms, which is my ultimate goal. I want to just have uh, my ultimate goal is to have 10 grand a month in income from notes from land. Um, so but when I coach people though, it's more on the wholesaling, it's systems. Um, I even have a course on Podio that teaches people how to use Podio in their business. Uh, PodioJoe.com. It's, it's been a couple years since I updated that, but it's still relevant. It's still, you know, I, Podio is a fantastic tool. So I'm guess I, I'm coaching people on 
systems and marketing, how to, uh, in their house flipping business, how to create the systems where they can wholesale deals uh, while they're traveling or while they're at the beach in Barcelona or at a Starbucks cafe. It doesn't matter. Hey, I've got a quick question, a technical question on Podio because I keep, people keep saying how great it is. Yeah. How customizable is it from start to finish? I mean, could you really, if you spend a, hours and hours in there, make it into a relational database that handles everything from CRM to like management to everything? Yeah. So it's just a drag and drop. It's very customizable. That's why I love it. it you, it, It's like a drag and drop. So if you look at it on the left, you have all your different fields, a text field, a date field, a number field, money, uh, um, a link field, a map field, et cetera. And so different fields and you drag them over to the right and you drop them where you want for whatever you want to track. And so like I have, they're called workspaces and with workspaces they are very flexible. You can share workspaces with people um, or exclude them. So I have a workspace for land. In fact, I have different workspaces for land in different states. I have a workspace for lease options. I have a workspace for wholesaling in by city. I have a workspace for my coaching business. I have a workspace for uh, my admin stuff, you know, like our meeting minutes and standard operating procedures and stuff like that. So it's very customizable to track whatever you want to track. The um, And then it communicates really well and integrates really well with Google Drive or Dropbox, Evernote, um, and a Google Calendar so you can get all your stuff to show up in, in your in your calendar. And there's some really good, simple workflows that you can create in the background. So like when this happens, then do this. Uh, the only thing that it doesn't do that I wish it did, it doesn't have uh, an, e- uh, an email database like systems so to send out mm-hmm. autoresponder emails. So what you have to do is you set up a link between like Podio and MailChimp, for example. So when you put an email in Podio, it sends it to MailChimp. But that, so then you have to go to MailChimp to send out the letters or send out the emails. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's a pretty easy fix. Yeah, so there's there's things like Zapier that you can use. Yeah, exactly. To pull things out of Podio into um, whatever. So I I like it a lot because I don't want to have to fit into another someone else's box. Like I want to create my own box. I want to maybe I want to be a cylinder. And or or a pyramid or whatever, and uh, so I like the flexibility, and it's you don't have to be a coder to to figure it out. It's very uh, simple and straightforward. In fact, yeah. if you want, get sometime uh, we can schedule this after the uh, podcast here. I'll do a little tutorial and show you kind of what I have going on in Podio if you want. Yeah, cool. yeah, I'll definitely look into it and uh, probably schedule schedule something with you. It'd be great. I For want sure. a funny story. I want to. <laughs> Give me, give me, can you like uh, any funny um, recent thing like a disastrous flip or I don't know something. Oh boy! <laughs> you know you always have those deals you're like, well, how did we get involved in that? You know, right? I mean, yeah. Well, I'm trying to think. Um, every rehab I've done, I've lost money on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> That's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, isn't it? It's sad, but like we. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Why? Yeah. Why did you lose money? Uh, because I was counting. I bought them at the height of the market, mm-hmm. and I was counting on appreciation. I mean, I, I ignored all the fundamentals. That's why. Um, you know, I was counting on appreciation. The margins were slim, and I underestimated the rehab, overestimated the sale price, and um, and I borrowed too much debt. I got in over my head. This was back in 2008. Yeah, that's, that's about all the mistakes you can make. Good work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's hilarious. That's really good now I got that off my chest. But, uh, well, you know, so I don't know anything about the deals that we do today. I, I, I don't. I have my assistant that sends out the marketing, my VA that pre-screens the leads, and my local wholesaler that does the leads, that flips them. Um and we split the deal 50-50. I could dive in. I could go into Podio and look at it. Um, the other thing I do, by the way, that's really important is my I have a VA that does all my follow-up. So we send an offer to every lead that comes in. We send them an offer in the mail. And we follow up with them every month. We send them a text message. Uh, sometimes we'll do a slide dial, which leaves them voicemail. And then sometimes we'll just mail them. 
a letter or a postcard every month following up. So we're, we're relentless with the follow-up, but I, I can't, I can't tell you anything about all of the deals that I've done. Um, I know more about my students deals. I get more excited about that. I, you know, and I'm sure you guys are the same. When you see a student do their first deal, it's like I'm jumping up and down. I'm giving my kids high five. Uh, I get super pumped and jazzed about seeing students that I've had a little impact. I've taught them some things and they're actually out doing deals and they quit their job and, and, uh, they're able to stay home and spend more time with their family. That that's, that's what really gets me excited. Yeah. I mean, I completely agree with you. There's nothing better. I've always, I've been saying this for years. There's no better feeling in the world than parental pride. Uh-huh. You know, when your kids accomplish something, but, and then, and then there's a version of that when, uh, people that you're working with really start to get it and succeed at it. So yeah, I completely agree. It's really funny. Jo- Jill and I were just joking about that. We, there seems to be like three stages of, of our members. The first one is they're just, they don't believe it or they have some serious skepticism and then they, they, they're at stage one and they're in the research stage and they're like, Oh, this is, I don't understand. Or, you know, it's not, I don't understand, but they're just, they're concerned. And then step two is they get start getting calls back from a mailer. And then step three is we don't ever hear from them again because they're making so much money. It's just over. <laughs> Isn't that frustrating? I'm like, Guys, what happened? I, so that is one bad thing about coaching is like when they start doing deals, they don't call you anymore and you don't mm-hmm. talk to them. And you're like, I wonder what they're doing. Um, so that that is awesome. You get you get guys like I uh, uh, one of my clients today just did his first deal and made two grand. OK, two grand. That's not a lot of money, but that is a lot of money. Yeah. You know, two thousand dollars. You can have a very nice, expensive dinner with two thousand dollars. Right. Mm-hmm. And he's excited about it. He's jumping off. And so, like, I'm ha- so happy for him, too, because I just know this guy um, that's just adding fuel to the fire. It's lighting him up and he's going to go out there and do more marketing and talk to more sellers and make more offers. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, that's exciting. So I wish, you know, anybody listening to this, if you've done deals with Steve and Jill's stuff, you know, give them a call, let them know, send them an email, send them a letter or video, let them know like the success that you're having and it'll help them spread their message out to get more people in to the land academy world and, and, and help them do more deals. I'm telling you the, the market, especially in land is huge and there's, there's people need to know more about it. Well said, you know, we, uh, we see the data reports. So every, in our pro, um, membership, you we can see who pulls data and who uses the printing. And I can tell you, there's lots of people in there that are pulling a lot of data and a lot of printing, uh, month after month after month, and we haven't talked to them in several months. <laughs> so I don't think they're doing it for just for fun. <laughs> right, right. So it's that that's good. That's really good. It's you guys are doing a great job. Thanks, uh, man. She's really proud of uh, what you've created. Joe, where can we find you on the internet? Well, my podcast is probably the best place. I just updated my website too. So um, realestateinvestingmastery.com. I've been doing that podcast since 2011, uh, realestateinvestingmastery.com. Uh, JoeMcCall.com is my uh, other site. I have like three or four different courses. I don't really have a place that I can send somebody yet where they can get all of them or look mm-hmm. at them. It's just kind of like, you know, as I decide to release one or revise one, I kind of let it out. Um, but Real Estate Investing Mastery, my podcast is probably the best place to go. Okay. I should have you guys on my show. Yeah, it'd be fun. Send us a link. We'll, I'd be happy to be. We'd love it. I, I will put it, I'll, I'll send you an email and put it in Skype right after we're done here. I know you don't want to do work or anything like that, but, you know, send us a link. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have my people contact you. That's right. That's actually in a system that Joe has. It's going to be automated here in a minute. <laughs> right. Uh, hey, great talking is, to you, Joe. Thank you so much. Great talking to you guys, too. I appreciate it. Okay. See ya. Good show. That was fun. You know, it's it's always fun talking to someone that um, they found us. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? And and uh, he's been in our little world doing our thing, you know, using the data and all that good stuff. And I wasn't really sure who he was. And I'm like, oh, he has a show. <laughs> I didn't know that, you know. Like, That's oh. how, uh, you know, our service, our, uh, you know, uh, guest finding service, which is really people in our staff. Right. Found him. They don't. They don't have any idea that he's a member. Exactly. It just all happened that way. I think that happened earlier this week too, right? 
I think so. Oh, gosh, yes. That's right. We did have one earlier um, where it wasn't one of our um, people in our, you know, Land Academy show. You know, it wasn't or, a member, but he had bought a It was a customer bought yeah. something from yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. it was so darn funny. <laughs> that was really cool. I'm like, oh, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I flipped it. Isn't that funny? He's like, I bought it from you for 400 Then I think I did the math, and he sold it for $2,400. i am like, yeah. nice job. Or, you know, right. it's way to go. We, uh, you, know, you know what I really got out of that call with Joe is um, following up with, with a, maybe with some type of correspondence for people who haven't, who just called in but we never ended up buying their property. Maybe send them a note every six months. I never thought about doing that. Ever. Well, let me think about that. Why did we not buy their property? I, I, I always thought that was kind of a house thing. It seems like that's yeah. a, a whole, you know, they're still living in it. Why aren't you moving thing? It's not like this something sitting way over there. Yeah, I mean, I guess you would only do it for certain. You'd only do it for sellers that uh, have a, they really wanted to sell, but they didn't, but it couldn't get together on the price. Hmm. Right. And then, you know, they come. And there's not that many, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I, the reason we don't close deals with people is for, like, legal reasons. Like, you know, it's not in their name. Or we never, don't agree on. There's the price. That might be a thing. But sometimes, it, but then they come back. Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I mean, I I don't think price is the main reason. It's just to sheer numbers. Of all the deals that people call in or send us stuff back, I think price is very low on the list about why we yeah, don't okay. close a deal. I think it's mostly... Not price, it's like some other thing True. that goes on. Like it's impossible to close this deal. Yeah, because the person's not living any longer that owns it or any of those little legal legal type things. Right, right? and sometimes, uh, and we've had that, where the legal fees to do it might be worth more, cost more than the property's worth. That just kind of yeah, made exactly. it, now the deal doesn't make sense. Right. And I hate, I hate those because yeah, I feel pretty, bad. I'm like, sorry, I, I wish I could super, help you. I was super excited when he said that, but now I'm not as excited anymore, Joe. About what? <laughs> about the following implementing, up? Implementing a follow-up, an automated follow-up thing. Yeah. You, the, you, were, you didn't see it at all, did you? No. I mean, you didn't feel it at all. You know what? Because I didn't see it for what we do. Yeah. You know what, Stephen? Right. I don't... You know, Here's my reasoning. I have enough fresh yeah. deals coming yeah. across my desk and my team yeah. all the time that I don't need to more, revive anything. More deals. So, right? I have... I took the cream of the crop. Every time it comes across, we take the cream of the crop and we move on. Right. How great is that? Anyway, in- interesting to talk to uh, yeah. an existing uh, successful member on accident. I know. I love it. That was great. Let's go buy some property. We hold a drawing to win a free property every month. Enter to win by reviewing this show on iTunes and downloading our free ebook at landacademy.com. If you want to get involved or you need more information about our profitable, niche real estate operation, call 480-467-0359. You just might get Jill at the other end of the line. Landacademy.com. You are not alone in your real estate ambition.